Morning, this is Troy from the do-it-yourself world and the off-grid project. It's not the prettiest day today. 76 in, 46 out, and uh, just about quarter to 10 in the morning. Rain, rain, rain. Just a dark and wet day. They're predicting it's going to rain for the better part of the week, so I've got to figure out some uh, indoor projects here at the off-grid homestead and the tiny house on wheels. So, um, yeah, anyway, let's go on over and have a look at the solar panels over here. It's dark in the tiny house. Really dark in the tiny house. What do we got? Ouch. Well, taking off the insulation did reduce the temperature of the batteries. 12.3 volts, though, is not very good. Um, unfortunately, it's raining hard, so I don't really want to expose a generator to the rain. But I might have to because 12.3 is low. Although this forklift battery likes to stay on the low side, so um, uh, the best I've seen it is 12.5 overnight after resting at uh, 70, 80 degrees. I think it was about 12.4, 12.5 this morning actually. So I've been working on the computer for about 40 minutes now. Um, answering comments. This thing has been bothering me. I keep forgetting to straighten it out. The cats like to play with the cords. And then they uh, knock that loose. There we go. Ah. Yeah, I know that's been affecting some of my viewers with OCD. There we go. Now we got some happy OCD viewers. I get a lot of feedback from people that certain things like that bug them. And that's been bugging me actually. The cats like to bat at that cord and knock it loose. I'm going to have to fasten it and make it permanent. Anyway, life goes on at the off-grid homestead, rain or not. I'll get back to the videos. i got a lot of work to do. It is pouring rain. Just pouring down. It's becoming... There's standing water out here. Let me see if I can risk going outside. There's standing water pooling on the ground out here. Um, I was busy this weekend off camera, and you may have noticed that I was ashamedly walking around with my camera pointing down at the ground all the time. Basically like this, walking along all the time, because I was embarrassed about the mess. And you may notice everything's gone over here, everything's gone over here, everything's gone over here. Look at that. It's all clearing up. When I look out the door of the homestead now, I see a chicken tractor. And over here, a wood splitter and a couple piles of wood, which are also going to get moved. But uh, I ran out of happy weather to do it in. And uh, we're getting it. Cleaning up the homestead. Looking good. Look at that. Nothing out here. Nothing in the way. Um, ducklings are a little unhappy with me right now. They have been living out in the chicken coop in the new chicken tractor with the bantams um, I had my head inside there and it's high and dry so turning out very well the chickens have the very dry co warm and cozy house then they have the sheltered um, exterior half where they can sit and actually that's where the the rooster and one of the hens is sleeping on the outdoors half and two of the the uh, two silver hens are sleeping in the house and the ducklings are sleeping in the house at night although I have to put them up there they're not smart enough to go up there but um, yeah, anyway looking good out here at the off-grid homestead eh, except for the weather no solar absolutely no solar I'm pulling in 8 watts out of 800 not a happy time for solar and as soon as the rain stops I'll have the generator running and it's only 45 degrees. It's really not pretty out there today. Morning. Troy from the do-it-yourself world and the off-grid project. Um, seems to be a beautiful day today. Clearing up out there. Um, got all the little babies in the chicken tractor. It's uh, 56 degrees, so it's not the most comfortable for them. Actually, I don't see all the babies, so I'm going to have to go out and check. Unless they're just bundled up. Anyway, um, you'd never know that last night was brutal, intense, insane, and damaging. The, uh, well, there's my shoes drying in the sun. They were out under the tarp here, 
and got sopping wet. There was a powerful driving wane. Yeah, there was a wane last night. Um, so there was a powerful driving rain, lightning and thunder, and the tiny house on wheels or something somewhere in the area got hit. The lightning was off that way in that direction and it wasn't that close it wasn't really close there was about a second in between each strike uh, uh, between the, the, the lightning and the thunder but all of a sudden there was a pop inside the tiny house there was a pop in my solar charge controller um, there was there's a pop in here right here and the solar charge controller started showing Chinese like gobbledygook and um, I was nervous. I switched off the solar panels and I was really nervous about the charge controller. I waited until the lightning had passed and then I disconnected the battery power from the solar charge controller and thankfully it is working happily today. Uh, I want to rant and rave about the Morningstar TriStar solar charge controller. This is the MPPT TriStar solar charge controller from Morningstar Corp. I am not being paid for this. I am just very pleased that this charge controller took a lightning strike last night. The screen was showing a mix mash of junk. Just a bunch of hash junk. And it was scrolling from left to right. And it was just, I thought it was fried. I thought it was shot. The end. Uh, doing a hard reset, disconnecting the batteries and plugging it back in, and the thing works fine. I'm pulling in a fair amount of power today from 800 watts of solar panels, but it is cloudy, so I'll, I can live with that. Um, Morningstar, TriStar, so MPPT, solar charge controller, is diehard, tough, durable, and I would highly recommend it to others. So, uh, this has survived two lightning strikes in three years. And I am very, very pleased with it. So, definitely um, a good product. Very reliable. Sorry I haven't showed you the charge controller in a long time. I couldn't get it to show up on the computer. Annoyingly, the uh, I think my modem has a defect, and I often have trouble getting the computer online in the first place, let alone getting the charge controller on. Right now, we've got 500 whopping watts coming in out of 800 total, which is understandable because what do we got? Two in the afternoon, indirect sunlight on the solar panels, and the charge controller is in absorption mode, so it's limiting the current that's coming in anyway. So it figures that it's got what it needs, although the batteries can take more. I'm thinking that this charge controller is not appropriate for a forklift battery. That's one thing I'm thinking because the forklift batteries are never really fully charged. So I think that uh, there can be some changes here. Now I've been waiting for this for a while. I myself have been wanting to see what I've been pulling in. Oh, it's pitiful. Oh, yuck. I expect it better. Um, let me see if I can zoom into the numbers here and watch it along through my camera. All right, the total watt hours, where's my mouse here, right here. We've been only pulling in, uh, well, there was a fault because I reset the uh, thing last night. Pulled in only 160 total watts in the entire day yesterday. That's disgusting. Uh, 160 watts in an entire day of rain. That's not good at all. Uh, 2250, it's been really bad, I see. So 1700, 1100, 2400, 1900, 1100, 2300, 2400 watts. Really pitiful. I thought it was going to be higher than this. I really did. Wait a minute, where's my scroller bar? Okay, there it is. Hold on, let me uh, let me check and scan over a little bit. Watt hours. See, I was pulling in more. I thought, no, it's pitiful. It's terrible. All the way back, twenty nine hundred was a peak I've had. Oh, here, thirty nine ninety I had one day. Sixty seven days ago, I had three, almost four thousand watts of power. 
Um, so uh, it's really cloudy here. It's really, you can see, I'm not pulling in. Here was another reset. I'm not pulling in much power. 600, 200 watts in an entire day. Right here. I am really not doing, not pulling in much power because of the clouds. Here an average of 25, 27, 2900, 2000, 2700. There was a good week here. 200, 800, 400, 300. See, I've had some really bad weather out here this spring. And recently, see, 160. Uh, where am I? 160 yesterday. Really pitiful. And the day before, like I said, 2200, 1700, 1000 watts total power in a day. Really, really bad. So, um, this is not because of my solar panels at fault, because I can pull in up to 700 watts. There is some loss in the lines. I can pull up to 700 watts into my house at times, at one, at one time, from 800 watts of solar. So there's probably 100 watts lost in the lines. But, the problem is, it's just plain cloudy out here all the time. I rarely ever have a full sunny day. Um, which makes this not the prime area for solar. But, I'm surviving. I'm making it. So, you know, you can't cons count my place as as an overview and overall. Because in California, especially Australia, they're going to have a lot more solar. Way, way, way more solar than I do. So... Yeah, it gives you an overview of what I've been looking at recently. Cloudy, rainy days. Springtime is here. It's cloudy and rainy. But I'm not putting it, pulling in any more power than I was in the winter, though. Summer, soon, soon summer will be here, and I'll be pulling in a lot more power than I can use. Then, it'll be great. Well, we got a box. Baby's already here smelling it out. Checking it out. She's growing. Because squeaky cat's here. Uh, yeah. This is from Amazon Fulfillment. So I don't think that I have any idea what's coming in this. No idea. I don't remember ordering anything from Amazon. Let us see. Somebody sent me something here. Oh, okay. Baby cat, look, there's a box. Here's a box for the baby. There you go. Go get the box. Baby's happy now. Okay, this is um, a tool belt from the prairies. I was unhappy with my situation here with my tools. I decided to send me a... Let me see. How's it? Oh, that goes on my belt. Okay. I think this is from the from from the but I think this is from uh, from the prairies. So there's a hammer uh, holder and the uh, nail holder. So that's convenient. Your baby's so annoyed. Oh, baby, you're on camera. People are gonna hear you. Here, take your box. Be happy. I'm going to give baby an overdose of catnip tonight. Well, thank you. That definitely holds a lot more screws. Oh, there's two pockets in there. Okay, good. A lot more screws and nails and stuff and all my tools. Okay, convenient. I can put my uh, tape in here and my uh, other stuff and screws on top. That'll work. Well, thank you. We're in the sneak a peek at the kittens. You see them? Let me get a light on. There we go. There's a view of the kittens for you. Tiny, tiny, tiny little things. So little. Mm. There's a quiet and happy. Look at all little. So tiny. Felix the cat is underneath, I'll show you another time. There's an old black with white spots. Miss Squeaky, you're a good mommy, aren't you? You're a good mom. 
She's taking care of him real well. And there's the nose. Look at the nose on that kitten. It's so cute. It is squeaky. You got your babies, huh? I gave her a box and uh, she took to it. It's squeaky. Yeah.